Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I just got through building this Adafruit motor shield and all I needed to do was to add these terminal blocks and it also came with um, header pins but I decided to go with these stackable types. It, it, the uh, pins are a little longer and then you can stack one shield on top of the other. So it has two TV6612 dual DC motor drivers And those are located here and here. It also has a PCA9685. That's right here. This is a 16 channel 12 bit PWM I squared C bus LED controller. Right there. So with this motor shield, you can connect two 5 volt servos and you connect them right here. And you can control up to four bi-directional DC motors and up to two stepper motors. So this just stacks or plugs into the Arduino Uno and there's a default address for this one motor shield and then if you buy additional motor shields you can stack them on top of each other and what you do is you add a, uh, some, a solder bridge to these pads to give each motor shield its unique address so you can talk to them individually. So they have a couple of options for powering your motors. There's this jumper that you put in place and uh, put across these two pins here. And that way it'll get power from your uh, Arduino Uno. Uh, you know, you can plug in a separate transformer into your Arduino and then you can power up your, um, your hobby motors. But I, I have the stepper motor in place and really that needs a separate power supply so they have a separate terminal block here that when you have this when you don't have the jumper installed uh, it'll receive power through this terminal block so I have 12 volts hooked up here to run the stepper motor so let me go ahead and plug this into the Arduino Uno you can see the extra long pins here And there's a little project area here. There's also a surface mount LED here to indicate the power through this uh, separate terminal block when you're using an external power source. Now on the underside of this board, although there doesn't seem to be any traces, uh, I put a piece of electrical tape here on top of this USB connector. It just felt a little bit more comfortable that nothing would short out. And I have a 12 volt stepper motor here. It's a good motor to start off with when learning about stepper motors. It has 32 steps per revolution but there's a 1 16th reduction gear set so you, it, it then gives you approximately 513 steps. And again, it's a 12 volt stepper motor. You can see here, so it has a built in mounting bracket. And then the shaft has two flat spots. So you could uh, put a gear on here, and then it's a place for the set screws to secure against. Now, since it's hard to see the shaft actually moving, I just have this uh, lid here that I poked a hole through. And that way you can you can see it turn. So there's a motor shield library and uh, you just download that and install it into the Arduino IDE and uh, once you have that library installed there are some example sketches that you can run to uh, exercise all the features of the uh, motor shield. So let's plug it in There's a USB. So again, I, I have 12 volts hooked up to this terminal block. I have the power coming from my Heathkit triple power supply here. So I'll turn that on. And then you can see they have the surface mount LED there for the external power, indicating external power. So here's a stepper motor test sketch 
And you can see here, if you look under examples, there now exists under motor shield. There are seven sketches here for exercising the different features. DC motor test, motor party, stacking test, uh, stepper test, that's the one I'm going to run. Uh, constant speed, multi-step, Excel multi-step. So let's upload this sketch. Uploading. And there we go. Take this lid off for a second. So let's look at the code real quick. The actual stepper motor test program exercises the stepper motor with four modes of operation. It uses single coil steps, double coil steps, interleaf coil steps, and micro steps. So I deleted the last three and uh, it's really not recommended I guess for interleaf or micro stepping. It just goes too slow for this particular stepper. So the first thing you need to do is you need to include wire.h which is the I2C uh, communication program library. Uh, there's the Adafruit motor shield library and then there's this utility for the PWM servo driver. So then you create a motor shield object with a default I2C address and I guess you don't have to include an address there's a default when you just have the one shield and none of the uh, pads have uh, soldered uh, bridges on them to change the address. And if you were to have you know, a stacked, another stacked motor shield, you would have to change that address to talk to it. So here we're going to create an instance of the Adafruit stepper motor library in this variable MyMotor. And you specify uh, how many steps per revolution and also the uh, terminal block you're going to be using. So number two indicates terminal blocks three and four. And here we set up the serial port communication. Now, I'm not certain but there seems to be a default fre frequency here. I don't know if that's a default frequency for the uh, pulse width modulation. It says 1.6 kilohertz. And here you can specify the revolutions per minute RPM. So here set speed 10. And here's the loop where we use uh, the variable my motor and we set the step to 100 and we have forward single and then step 100 backward single step. And it just continues in that loop. So you can see here we're not utilizing the full 513 steps. So I'm going to change that in the program. So I'll upload the sketch with those changes. And you can see there now we have full 513 steps. I also increase the RPM to 40. If we reduce that back down to 10. Bring it back down to 10. Upload that sketch. And now the speed is slowed down. So you can see here with this 12 volt stepper motor we're drawing a little bit over an amp of current. 
So I'm just starting to learn about stepper motors too. I still have to hook up a couple of servos and DC motors to this motor shield to make sure it's fully functional. I hope you found this video interesting. Please subscribe and or comment and thanks for watching.